Hey fish fans, it's Raina. I am wrapping up my 2019 videos, although you may be seeing this one in 2020. I'm filming it at the end of 2019. I've had so many videos I wanted to get out to you, but I have been sick as a dog for like three months now. It has been nonstop, so it's been tricky because I don't want to slap something together for you. I want it to be good, so I'm working on these today. I'm excited to bring you some new content. If you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell if you want to get notified. If if you are watching on Instagram, please follow me, leave a comment, let me know what you think about this stuff. So today on the channel we are going to be talking about the slip-ins, which is what I'm wearing right now and you've been seeing so many gorgeous photos of this product. <laughs> because I wore it in Mexico and I totally love it and I wish it was acceptable for me to just wear it like this all the time anywhere I go <laughs> because I love it. A lot of people ask me what I thought about this product so I thought I would do a formal review because I think they can actually be incorporated with mermaiding. It's gonna be cool. So let's start off with Slippins is a company in California and what a Slippins is is that it helps you slip into your wetsuit. Do you get it? You get it? Ha huh, ha. Huh? <laughs> so it's made of like a really stretchy and sheeny material that helps you slip through. It is quick drying, like really quick drying. It is form fitting. So that means you want to go as close to your size as you can and you know stuff like this it's not going to leave anything to the imagination okay <laughs> so just be careful if you don't like your stuff quite so tight you might want to size up but it is form fitting i don't find it too tight you want to be able to move like this your full range of motion but i do find that it's super comfortable and i actually prefer mine tight people ask me if it keeps you warm it's not made of material that keeps you warm but just for the sole fact that you're actually wearing something besides a bikini or a pair of shorts it is going to keep you a little bit warmer but it's not intended to keep you warmer it's intended to help you get into your wetsuit and then as sort of a secondary bonus one of the cool things with this product is that it is uv protective which means it will protect you from the sun so if you're swimming or free diving in it or just hanging out at the beach you won't get a sunburn through the material you only really have to put sunscreen or sunblock on your face maybe a hat even and this really helped me when I was in Mexico because in Mexico in the cenotes you are not allowed to wear sunscreen or bug spray in the water because that water is something that people use for drinking and it needs to stay clean so they don't want all this stuff in it and when people don't listen to that rule and they do it anyway you can literally see a film of sunscreen and bug spray on the top of the water that's how clean the water is so when you see that it's really gross there is also a lot of studies that are saying that some sunscreens and some chemicals are really harmful to wildlife and corals it's not a huge problem that we have where I live but it is in uh, warmer places like Hawaii and Florida, California, places like that. Definitely places like the Caribbean. Anywhere warm like that, it's been a really big problem. Come in rash guards. This is the full suit, but you can get it as just a rash guard. You can get it as a bathing suit. This is the whale shark print. I really love it. And the bugs could not bite me through this. So when we were in the cenotes, I was swimming in all these different cenotes and other people were getting bit by bugs and bit by fish. Sean was getting little fish hickeys on him. <laughs> and were getting sunburns and I wasn't and I was able to wear this and then within 20 minutes of being out of the water it actually dried and I could wear this full suit and I wasn't hot in the 35 degree weather in Mexico I actually went to a restaurant wearing this because we went right off to the cenotes and I didn't have a change of clothes and it was just fine right so it does feature a zipper in the front it's got thumb holes and one through feet too so it stays nice and snug nothing like rides up it also makes it easier when you're trying to pull it through the wetsuit as well and also when you're trying to get it on just as it is it is a little bit tricky to get it on as it is the print is really really beautiful I love it in fact it inspired me so much Mer Taylor now has custom mermaid tails which I'm gonna do a different video about that are fabric and I ordered one or I am ordering one that I want to be inspired by this print so not like a cotton copy of it but its own thing with the artist so that I could have a whale shark tail and I could wear the whale shark tail and wear this. I found this because of Mermaid Linden, she was wearing it all the time and I got to meet the Slippin' people at the California Mermaid Convention and they were lovely, lovely people. 
One of the things they told me is you could actually buy like, a large one of these or an extra large one of these and put it over your wetsuit. So your wetsuit actually looks really cool. So now I'm getting all these ideas, you see. <laughs> one of my goals in life is to go swim with the belugas, the wild belugas. You can legally do this in certain parts of Canada. They will take you out for a tourism dive. You can't touch them or anything like that. And you can only interact with them so much as they interact with you. But you go and you wear like a super thick wetsuit and you swim with the belugas. And I think how cool would it be to get another one of these and put it on over a wetsuit, have the mermaid tail that matches it and go swim with the belugas. Even though it's a whale shark, it's not belugas. It's still really cool. A lot of mermaids have swam with whale sharks. I have not had that opportunity yet. I really, really want to. I think they're really beautiful creatures. They blow my mind. And the print is just beautiful. So slip-ins have a lot of other prints based on sea turtles and sharks and rays. Really beautiful, beautiful prints. You know that I'm a fan of the natural prints. My own clothing line, Raina's Splash and Fashion, also has prints like this from my own photography. So I am just super big on that. They have all kinds of products and I just really, really enjoy this. And this is not a sponsored video in any way, shape or form. This is just my own experience with the company saying it is totally worth every penny that you pay for it. I'm getting so much use out of this. Even in Canada, I'm getting so much use out of this. And I just really, really love it. It's so beautiful. And if you're taking a look at my videos as they play throughout this clip, you're seeing me in the cenotes, wearing it, swimming. I even got to wear it in an underwater cave, which was really great because I was kind of scared being in the cave. But it was so cool and I love it. So that is my review of the slip-ins. Thank you so much for checking it out. Please, please, please check us out on patreon.com slash mermaid. We are coming up to our one year anniversary and we have 30 patrons. That's so amazing. I have 30 loyal people who have been there. Some of my patrons have been there from the start and it's really humbling and amazing. And Sean and I have all these great brainstorming things that we're gonna be doing to make new content for you and make more perks, more merchandise, all that stuff. So thank you so much for checking out my video. I'm really thankful for you. 2019 was a crazy year and I'm just so thankful for my fans and supporters. Best wishes.